is just a check right now. Right, good. I thought the camera was a bit weird then. Anyway, hello guys. Today I'm going to be doing a haul, beauty haul, um, of things that I got from Selfridges. Mac, I think, that I got some stuff from Mac. Yeah, I did. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with this bag. I didn't get too many things. Nearly everything, actually... Oh yeah, two things are still in the box, and most of them aren't, because I asked the woman if she could put them on me, and she did. But, let's start with the first bag. So in Selfridges, they have all these counters of different makeup brands. So, I'm going to start with Urban Decay. So, I got two things, because I went there two times today. I got two things the first time. I got the Urban Decay um, Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion a handful and it's huge and it's like a nice silver lid I don't want to open any of it I want to keep it fresh for when I do use it and yeah so this is really nice I'm not sure how much I can't remember most of the prices actually I, don't, I think this was about 15 pound I want to say I don't know I'm not even going to guess because I'm probably going to be wrong so yes I got that um, you can just like go on the websites and stuff and check how much they are if you really want them. Then I got the Urban Decay the Slick Makeup Shet Setting Spray and this is oil control. And it looks like that. It's a big nozzle. It's got like two lids. So yeah. And I'm wearing it right now. You probably won't be able to tell. But um, yeah, so got that. I know this was a in the 20s so it was either like 20 i think it's probably 25 or something so i got these i've got quite oily skin so i thought i needed the oily one and that's what the lady at the counter said so the first time i got those so i'm gonna actually stand this up somewhere that so you can't really see it okay um then we went to the estee lauder stand and I got just samples. I was just looking at the foundations really. So I got two of these Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cream. Um, I don't know why I got anti-aging cream. I'm only 10, but, and I don't know why actually. Oh yeah, I do have pores. Anyway, so yeah, these just random samples. And then I got two things of foundation. I actually got three, but one's in my purse. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's a definitely a lot darker, because I was like, maybe because I tan and stuff, not really, I put like, sometimes I put darker foundation on, just to make me look tanned when my body's a little bit more tanned, so I asked for a darker one and a lighter one, so yes, this is this, almost the same colour as my foundation that I already used, and then this one's a bit lighter, as you can see there's a difference. So we got those, so that's basically all from the Estee Law to stand. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got this brush, and I have used it to, well you can't really tell, but there's a tiny little bit of a mark right there. This is the te Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. And this is the Expert Face Brush, I said that's the word, Expert. <laughs> and it's really soft I love it oh I would literally like I wish it was a hair brush anyway so it looks like this is really sleek and gorgeous gorgeous I was saying everything's so weird it's probably because I'm so excited but it is it's really gorgeous and this was £10 I can remember it was £10 and oh yeah all these samples here were I think there was a pound altogether because um, when you're in the traffic centre, which is the mall that I went to, um, it's you have to pay for the samples. So yeah, but I got this brush, and this is from the um, the uh, the Real Techniques counter. So yeah, and then obviously I went into Mac, my all-time favourite makeup place, and this is what I'm obsessed with. Hold on, I'm just gonna clean it up around the edges a bit. Okay. I guess I'll just get rid of all the dirt that's on top of it. 
Okay, so I picked up one of their concealers because I've heard a lot about like the MAC concealers and stuff and I was like, I want to give one a go. So this is like the original MAC concealers. This is NW20 Studio Finish Concealer. It's SPF 35 and yes, it's pretty light because I like my, um, my concealers to be a bit lighter. So they, it makes them pop. Boom. Oh, actually, I could wear it as a foundation. Hold on, I want to put some on my skin. Oh, look. A new foundation. Anyway, and also, for they were giving out free makeovers. Um, well, not entirely makeovers. They were doing people's makeup for free. So if you, if you bought a MAC product, it doesn't matter how much it was or... Even if, I think it, they don't really give out samples, but I did get some. So, yes. But, um, it was doing makeup for free. So, I've got eyebrows, eyeshadow, mascara, full face, and this one. So, I love it. So, that's all that um, the first time that I went to the traffic centre. Because then I left, left, and I went to the car park. Because there's, um, if you walk across the car park... This Frankie and Benny's right there, it's a restaurant. So we went there for lunch and then we went back and I bought two more things. I spent like over a hundred quid on makeup because this is all so much money. And yeah, so let's get into the first thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Is this okay? Other than it's Urban Decay because I I think this is Urban Decay too actually. Um no. I went to Urban Decay again, and yeah, so these, all the, um, the Urban Decay things and this matte concealer are my favourite probably, but I got the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering, Shimmering Powder for Face and Body, so it looks like this is so nice, in Aura, I think that's how you say it, that's how she said it, at the shop, I'm just gonna try and show you what it looks like oh my gosh I can never open packaging like this okay. it's really cool so this is what it looks like it's pretty thick 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 oh. okay so here's a shimmering powder and you do get a mirror but here's the shimmering powder and it's got like designs inside and this little thing I did actually have some on my hand but it came off when I wiped it off so yeah and then underneath it right here you get a little brush Ooh, I don't want to like, take it out the packaging but it's super soft like super super soft and it's, it says open decay right there it's really pretty so it's just nice uh, little face set type thingy and it's got the name on the back as well for all those YouTubers. No, just kidding. Okay, so I thought. I know this was about, no, I think it was about £60. Way expensive, in my opinion. Okay, then the last thing, we went back to Estee Lauder. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just my hair. Okay, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, um, which is these little samples. And what did I get this in? Made in Belgium? But that's not the name. Oh, Shell. It's in Shell. I don't know why I got different. And it's SPF 10. I just want to. Okay, so I opened it. It's so nice. It's got like all the emblems inside. Oh, let's see you shiny. Okay, so this is the foundation. This is so sleek. So, like I said, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup SPF 10 in 1CO or 1C0 shell. And it doesn't come with like, a pump or anything, but it smells actually really good. But that's what it looks like. I'm not going to use any because I don't want to waste it before I've even got my hands on it. So, I think that's it for my haul. It is, so thank you guys for watching and keep in mind all the 
the currency prices different stock and everything like that will be different where you live so like this uh makeup settings for what like i said like 35 pound um in america this might be you know 25 dollars it might be 60 dollars you don't know this was 60 something pounds and in america this could go up to 80 dollars you never know so everything will be different or this might be like 30 pesos you never know like i say that really weird or this might be um 50 i'm trying to think of other currency 50 euros you, you know everything's gonna be different so all of these prices i'm gonna say right now because i can remember so this is 63 or five pounds whatever i said in the beginning but i know it's like 60 something pound 35 pound 10 pound or to be exact 9.99 this primer potion hold on i want to show you how cool the cap is this is what it looks like it's so cool um this i know is about 35 pound too but i'm not surprised it's like the same size as my forehead i think if you including the cap it is my forehead <laughs> so yes like i thought and then um, like i said these samples they weren't a pound altogether these were two pound it was two for a pound or four for two pound uh, yeah just two pound this i want to say was about mm, 40 pounds i don't know why this is oh no it isn't actually yeah this is more expensive than the setting powder so yes this was i would say 40 pound this 15 pound and oh yeah i've already done the brush so is that everything yeah it is so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you on friday yeah friday yeah yeah friday so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i didn't think it'll be this long with so many so less items so yeah i'll talk to you later bye